Let's begin Wreck of the Maria Doria. Okay, we're going to do the same strat for Scuba Steve. We're going to go into this corner, swim up, and then wait for him to turn left, and then we go. Right now. Okay. That's it. We, uh... We got the good RNG. Don't... Didn't get me, did he? No, okay. Right, so this is, uh... There's a strat to avoid the full damage in this level. So we're gonna drop down on the left side. We'll do the setup first. Then we roll. I flip left. Then hold forwards and grab. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to the modern controls. Like that. And switch to keyboard as well. Let's see if I can get this first try. So climb up. And then we're gonna hold roll. No, we're just gonna die. Okay, successful attempt, guys. <laughs> Let's try that again. Start the level. Oh. Let's go back to uh, tank first. <laughs> oh. Okay, we got it again. Nice, perfect. Okay, we'll do the exact same thing. For some reason, she didn't um, grab. We'll try it again. Okay, now we hold roll. And she'll teleport down to the bottom. Like that, to avoid the damage. And that was found by the Heavenly Star on the Two Mater subreddit. So let's change back to the tank controls now. Because before, the only way to avoid damage was on the mobile version. Because she would... Uh, when she was falling, you'd hold roll and she would glide in the air and you could uh, fall into this pool in the corner. So yeah, no damage is possible for the remasters. Uh, that's good. It should work on all the versions as well. But this we're not out of the woods yet. For years. Can't believe it's been that long. It's been great seeing you grow on Twitch and delivering all the Thank amazing you. content. Thank you. Absolute unit. Thank you, Danza. Thank you. Thank you the 48 months. Chad. Alright, I've got a... No! I need to figure out what gun I can use. The M16. That'd be the... Uh... So I'm going into the engine room first. Because this is a reset point. Well, I did... Am I going to get this first try? Wow! Okay, so what I did there was RNG manipulation. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was just all luck. So we're going to clear this room first. And uh, what we're going to do is... Uh -huh. The thing is, with this level, there is a force drop uh -huh. where that boat is. So we're going to have to use a glitch to get past. And I'm thinking we could either do the quap, but that's quite risky. I might opt for the item dupe instead. So that involves duping the circuit breaker uh, with the key. So we're going to head back. I'm going to grab those two items. So hopefully we'll be fine and not take damage here. I'm going to step backwards just so I've got some range. There we go. Took those guys out. Easy. Oh, my health bar. Oh, it's not actually uh, showing the mod. I didn't actually take damage, though. How come it's not working now? Interesting. Wait, hang on. One second. Thank you for telling me. Thank you for telling me. Uh, let me load it again. Uh, let's see. Look. 
Okay, now it's working. I'm pretty sure I didn't take damage. They didn't hit me, so yeah. Thank you for mentioning that. We'll grab these items here. Uh -huh. Hey, Tiny Ratty. How you doing? Uh -huh. I don't know why I picked up those small many packs. It's not like we need them. Yeah, I didn't notice either. So thank you. Thank you for mentioning it. Thank you for the follow, uh, Quimera. Thank you. So I thought we'd do the item dupe just because it's the easiest thing to do. So if people want to follow this uh, for no damage, then yeah, they don't have to mess around trying to get the quap, which can take a while. It's it's a very um, it's quite tricky. Most likely need a setup to get it. I'm doing good, thank you. Hey there, cauliflower. Thank you for the good luck. Okay. We don't need to go into the left room because we just need the key and the circuit breaker. We don't need to open the door. And that should be enough. Right, there's going to be a wrench guy coming up. I think I'm going to do the no loads, no med strat where I do this and then climb up and I don't think he whacks me. Good. So there should be two of the uh, wrench dudes coming up right now. Yeah. Okay. What can we use for the shooter? Autos? Use the autos. He's right there. Try and get behind him. Nice. I'll pick up the flare pack. Uh -huh. There's going to be one shooter left. He's at the back. I see where he is. Okay, he's at the over there. I'm gonna step. Oh, he's stuck. I think I got him. Yeah, I see his. Uh, I see his feet. Typical. Okay, let's get the key. I'm gonna walk through these shards. I'm going to face directly forwards and then just uh, roll. That should be fine. Uh -huh. Okay. And then I'll just jump over. Nice. Okay. And the closest circuit breaker is over there. So we'll grab that. I'm probably not going to do the banana jump across. I'll shimmy and play it safe. I don't know if I'm going to take damage or not. Hey there, Thomas. How's it going? And hey, Jack. And hey, Drone. So all we need is one circuit breaker and then we can do the dupe. I don't know if it's going to spawn a shooter. I think it does, you know. Uh -huh. Getting a lot of auto ammo, that's great. Okay. I always like to go on the left side just because the there's shards down there. Hey there, Pyro. Uh -huh. How you doing? No. Okay, there isn't anyone. Or maybe the block um, has blocked the uh, the way. If so, that's good. I'm doing good, thank you. So this level's going pretty smoothly so far, which means absolutely nothing. So we use the circuit breaker. Go into the. Uh, we just press action on the uh, the slot, and then for the other two slots, we go into the inventory manually. So I'm pressing start, so it'll be escape if you're PC. Press up, and you can see that the item is glitched out. It's not moving, and there's no text below it. So that means you got the dupe. Just press action, and then we'll do the other circuit breakers like that. 
What's nice about this as well is you can, uh, if you did the co-op, you won't be able to, you won't be able to move the block out, which you can use for like, safety, the enemy above. I might just drop down onto it. It looks like he's getting closer. No, it works in multiple levels. I mean, I, I found the item dupe in Tomb of Tahokan using the rusty key with the uh, the gold key to dupe it. Okay, so the next tower will spawn the guy. I'm going to use the shotgun, I think. I think it's two shots. Yep. And he doesn't drop anything, so... Nice. I'll take this nice and slowly. No rush. You'll probably die if you miss this jump. Yeah, it works with a lot of uh, items. The Sanctuary Anks too. And in Midas. With, in Midas, you use the uh, the lead bar with the gold bar, and that's how you dupe it. Take out the fish on the right. I'm gonna pick up this harpoon ammo just in case. Just in case. Hey, that street. Thank you for the good luck. How much ammo do I have? 64. Okay, we'll go left side because it's safer. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> God, he was so close. Does he just have a medipack? Yeah, we don't want that, pal. <laughs> the, the shark tank should be okay if I follow the speedrun route. I just need to avoid the sharks, and that's it. The end, however, will be interesting. Uh -huh. That part is scary because you've got the barracudas at the end and then you've got the eels, the scuba steves and the two gun guys. Thank you for the good luck, Matt. Thank you. I'm just going to go quickly. Bonk. And stick on the right side because those sharks can suddenly just pop out of nowhere. Okay. Both on the left side, that's good. I'm going to just quickly go for the key. And then I'm going to make a turn to the right and hug the, uh, the ship. Oof. Oh, they're so close. Okay, two sharks are there. I think we've made it. Pretty good RNG overall, except the uh, the barracudas were uh, well, basically up my ass, weren't they? Jesus, they were quite close. Hey there, Padoop. Thank you for the good luck. <sighs> Going well so far. The eels are sneaky, they are. Gotta watch out for those eels. Yeah, we're out of 40 fathoms. We, uh, we did it. Toughest level so far. Toughest level so far. Alright, Axel, thank you for the look. Take it easy. <laughs> if the duplication works in temple ruins, I don't think it matters because they can use the flare glitch to um, do the strat similar to what you do in Tomb Raider 4. 
Okay, I'm probably going to use the M16 and take out the gun guys. It'd just be really risky of me, you know, trying to drop down or do a swan dive into the water, so. Okay, one. One is down. Where's the other? Nice. Okay. I'm going to fake grab on probably this side. I just need to be careful of the Steves. I think this should be good. I'll use a flare cancel. So we're going to quickly grab the ammo and then dive into the water. Ooh, what was that? Not like a gunfire then. Uh -huh. Hey there, Black, uh, black Slip. How you doing? Okay, let's go. Right, we've done this before. We've done the achievement, so... Oof, nerves. Gotta watch out for the fish now. Swimming high up here. Hugging the wall. Ooh. I think we've made it. Oh, God, my heart. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that, okay, that was... Was that... That was a second try wreck. That went really well. Jesus, that went well. Didn't it? Thanks to GG's, guys. Oh, okay. Get, get, I need a moment. Oh, God. You fell asleep yesterday during the stream. Hey, Quimera. Thanks to GG. Oh, I mean, that's a level you can really reset on. You know, just, just getting shot at the end by the two gun guys or um, getting harpooned by Steve as you enter the water. And we also had a really good engine room too. Yeah, Steve is the, the true boss so far, definitely. There's going to be one Steve coming up. But I think I've got a strap for him. So we should be okay. I'll use the pistols for this guy. I've got to be careful because someone can shoot you from above. I'm just going to quickly go. Alright, we're fine. There's going to be three enemies in the next room. I'm going to try and use the shotgun. We've got ten uh, shells. Oh, okay. Right, one's coming up. Nice, nice. Uh, we'll trigger the barrels. Yeah, I think the other guy is going to come. Okay, that went not that went uh, pretty smooth. Uh, we're not going to do the skip, by the way, with the fire, because no chance. We'll do the shimmy instead. There was mandatory damage in two. Uh, I avoided that man the mandatory damage in uh, in Wreck and Maria Doria, if that's what you're uh, talking about. Toasty toes. Yeah, they're getting pretty warm. Thankfully, she's not taking damage. I think I'm going to pull the lever just because I want the fire off. You know, for peace of mind. Not like it does anything. Yeah, the fire is much more colourful, isn't it? Much more colourful. Because when it, the remasters were first released, it was... it looked very faded.
isn't it? I don't think I'm going to risk getting the secrets. Not in this level. This guy's a nutter. Hey there. Hey, Inspector. Thank you for the 44 months. How's it going? We'll wait for this guy to come round. Nice, more auto ammo. Uh -huh. I'll take that. So the hardest part of this level is definitely going to be Steve. Definitely Steve. I was thinking that, you know, but I didn't mention it. It does look like uh, he is limping. I don't know why. I'm not sure. Maybe he's carrying just a big ass shotgun, you know, it's heavy. You thought that too? <laughs> we'll take this nice and slowly and no rush. I roll off the edge here, then you're fine. Go to this corner. Uh, make sure not to bounce your head on the ceiling on the right. And there is a strat you can do here to avoid taking any damage. And it's really easy to do. So we're going to pull the lever. And we're going to roll. And then we side flip right. And then we use the look to buffer the upright swan dive. And we take no damage. It gets much better and much safer than jumping onto the piston and then rolling off. And it looks so flashy too. Gotta go for the cool factor. Okay. So we have a sc scuba steed we've got to deal with. I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to get some extra air. If I can remember how to do this strat. So I think you need to wait near the door. Right, you need to trigger Steve and then wait near the door. Okay, that's him. So I think you wait here for him to pass by. Like this. Ooh. Oh! God, did you see that? I was like... Okay, maybe we need to get some oxygen. But he should be stuck. Hopefully. He's not stuck. Oxygen. Uh oh This is bad. He might be able to get me. Let's see where he is. Where is he? I'm going to go back through here and get some air. But he, he, the strat didn't work, he got unstuck somehow. But maybe we can do the same thing again. Maybe. We'll see. No! Oh, I was like stuck on the wall. Oh, God. Steve, honestly, Steve is a piece of shit. I was like stuck on the wall. I, I know why I was stuck on the wall because there's like a 
it, it happens if there's like a, a gap below it. It's so dumb. Hopefully this time I get stuck. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. I do think I I need to take air. Because it looked like my, my... My bar was getting low. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. We'll try it again, though. We'll try it again. I'm blue. Yeah, we got past 40 fathoms. Yeah, we did it. We found a strat to get past Steve, and then the end was just all about luck. Making sure the gun guy doesn't shoot his gun. I think maybe next time what we'll do is we'll we could try if he does get unstuck we could try just rush for the hole above and climb out right. that might be better maybe you'll get confused or something and not uh, shoot What's the strap for dropping a deck? Ah, I have to wait and see, Ian. I have to wait and see. Yeah, he does have a limp. And now he doesn't. <laughs> Maybe he was faking the limp, uh -huh. you know, to uh, bait me to attack. I don't know. Tries to have good RNG and get a switch. <laughs> this is pimp. He went from limp walk to pimp walk in a matter of seconds. What you found was the first level where you ended up using a medipack purely because you thought it was impossible to surface without damage. I mean, like the, the ending, even in like the speed run, the ending, in the, the ending sucks. Like you could have times where the gun guy doesn't shoot you, and others where he's blasting you from as soon as you climb up, and then you have the other guy whacking you. Uh, you can easily use a medipack. Easily. The ending, do it does suck, doesn't it? It absolutely sucks. <laughs> sucks like Steve. Okay. Let's try it again, guys. Let's try it again. So we're going to pull the lever. And then we're going to get some air. And then we're going to lure Steve out. 
and hopefully he gets stuck. Maybe it's the fact that I was stuck as well that he didn't get stuck. But I need to make sure I don't get stuck so that Steve gets stuck, if that makes sense. I feel the same way with the keyboard. But that's the tile you trigger Steve on. Oh man, I'm stuck on that door again. And now we wait. Come on, Steve, you asshole. Asshole number four. Ah! Oh my god, it, was, it happened again. Did you see that? It happened? No! I think I'm messing it up. Alright, we're gonna... <laughs> let's just go. Jesus Christ. I think I went too early. I think I went too early. I went too early. Hey, okay, where is Steve? Oh, of course he's right there. This Fuck this guy! No, but it's my fault. I'm, I, I messed up the, I messed up the setup. I went too early. I think you got to go later. So wait for Steve to fully come out and turn towards the door. Go towards the door and then go. Right. I think that's what I got to do. Blame it on the Steve. Yeah. Oh, fuck that Carsley. <laughs> Yo, Meg. How you doing? Oh, crap. How you doing? <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, guy doesn't drop anything. Raiding party! Yo, Q Marie, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. How was uh, your stream? I'm doing good, thank you. Steve gives a bad name to Steve's everywhere. Except Stephen King, he's the he's a ledge. I think when was the first time I called Steve Steve? <laughs> Long time ago. Hey there, Dubby. How you doing? Yeah, well, what uh, were you playing, uh, Kimari? Uh, stream was short and fun, and you finished the lost artifact. Okay, so how? What do you think of the Lost Artifact compared to the other two expansions? How would you like rate it? Oof. I'm doing good, thank you. I, I really like the Lost Artifact. It's one of my, uh, it's my favourite expansion. You enjoyed it most time? Yeah, it's, it's a good expansion, isn't it? I think each location is quite varied. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does get, uh, very creepy. With the guy, the guys with the, uh, the hole in their chest. Mm. I don't even know what they are. It reminds me of um what was it? Uh oh what's their names guys? Rory and is it Rory and Randy? They have holes in their chest too. Where's the law even behind that? 
Randy and Rory. Yeah, I didn't know their names. I thought it was just Tony, Tony one and two. <laughs> just everyone's called Tony. Hopefully that's the last time I pull that lever. Tony A and Tony B. Hey, Pyro. Uh, any cutscenes I pay attention to? No. Not really. A movie critic. Except for Tomb Raider 5. I have to watch those. And I still don't understand them. I just look away. Going for uh, to rest for a bit. Uh, you'll be lurking. Okay, thanks again for the raid and uh, thank you for the lurk. Okay, let's do this again. So let's just wait a bit more for Steve to come out, and then... <sighs> the shoe and the tomato soup, yeah, they are, they are very distracting. Again, this door. Okay, so just wait for him to come out. Be patient. Be patient. <sighs> so annoying. I guess I waited too long there. So what's the hardest part of uh, no damage? Steve. Steve. Woohoo! Gotta get the the good RNG. We can do it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can't kill him. The thing with killing him, he uh, it takes five harpoons. And so you're reloading forever, and during that reload, you're pretty much dead. You saw how it was at the end of 40 uh, fathoms when you're trying to shoot him. Like, I won't be able to get the shots off if I'm around the door. But then I'll be reloading, and then he'll turn and just kill me. And that's how it goes. I might try a different approach, just be like a little bit higher up. That might work. Or, or maybe go as soon as he starts turning. I'll try that. And see. Hey there Gio, how you doing? Thought you succeeded. Oh no, no, I did succeed with uh, Steve in, at the end of 40 problems. Um, no. It's just, it didn't work with the gun strat. It only worked once. Out of, uh, I don't know how many times I reset there. 
it just wasn't a uh, for the most part it wasn't a good outcome so yeah I'm gonna do the strat that I to, to avoid him Yeah, too, the, the harpoon sucks. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, Iron. Uh. It's been snowing here for two days. Is that is that uh, is that normal? Or uh, not normal? How will I finish the level where she falls from a height? I, I assume you talk about the deck. So wait and see. No snow for two months. Does it snow quite often where you live? I know you said you lived in uh, was it Minnesota, and that's quite a cold uh, climate. It's, it's in the Midwest, like north. Unusual. It reminds me of... Um, this was in the autumn of uh, last year. And what surprised me was the, uh, the leaves were still on the trees in, like, November, which is just range because usually they start falling or turning brown or, or not turning brown rather but they turn brown very late so uh yeah i mean so we haven't had any snow in two months kind of scary to be honest just yeah the weather's been getting really strange oh yeah yeah i've noticed it like during uh february it would snow quite um not too much but it would snow around that time especially like when i was younger now uh not so much not so much Or if it does snow, it. Okay, as soon as he turns, I'm gonna go. But not get stuck on the door. No. No! Fuck this door, man. Oh, he's back. I want to hug the door, but I can't. Right, swim up. Avoid taking damage. I need to surface here. Hey there, Ari. Thank you for the good luck. And hey, uh, Raiden. How you doing? I'm just going to drop down. Nice. I'm just going to drop down straight into Steve's harpoon. Ah, oh, I could have sworn that strat was more consistent. I could have sworn that. Maybe I just need to be closer to the door. I'm going to try being closer to the door so that I don't have to spend too much time uh, swimming to, to get to the entrance. So maybe that'll work.
No school for two days. I like how you're chatting uh, in YouTube. Okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out a strat. Part of the challenge. Like trying to solve a puzzle. Kids are loving it. Minus 59 degrees wind chill. Oh, if you die if you went outside. Oh, that is. You know what's funny? We got through Rekka Maria Doria with uh, relative ease, but living quarters, different story. Minus 59, when Stella is saying Monk S at mi minus 59 and it must be bloody cold. Uh, she lives in the Arctic pretty much. Oh, I watched um, the highlights of the England vs Brazil game. Just, I don't know. I just, I feel like if we don't win like the Euros or, or the World Cup with this team, then something is like very, very wrong. Because I don't think we're gonna have a team like this for a very long time. Like we have so many good players, but I know that, um, is Kane playing? I'm pretty sure Kane isn't playing. Well, he wasn't playing for, uh, uh -huh. against the friendly, the friendly against Brazil. Um, and Saka's has gone back. I mean, yeah, we've got like, do you remember when we had the golden generation of players? Like that was not the golden generation. This is the golden generation of players, in my opinion. If we don't win anything with these, with them, then yeah. <laughs> oh, it's this Crystal Palace. It's not today, is it? I thought it's next. Um... In next weekend. Yeah. And then after that, there's another game on the second, I think. I don't know who we're playing. I'm sure there's two games very close to each other. Oh, we definitely need to win that game versus Crystal Palace, but uh, I don't know. Like, we had a good start to the season, and then... Uh, went downhill. Just went downhill. Oh, Fulham's going to be difficult. Hey, uh, Kumu Rocho, thank you. Well, no, not thank you. Uh, hey, <laughs> that was the word. How you doing? Oh yeah, I heard Leicester City has been uh, deducted points. Has that happened yet? That was like the first time I heard about uh, deduction uh, for them. Obviously they'll still be uh, first. What was the first game I ever streamed? League of Legends. 
And this was back in 2013. That was the first game. No. Or was it League of... No, I think it was League of Legends. Yeah. And I'll tell you, see, that's what... I don't know. Okay, I'm going to be closer to the door this time. No, I think he got unstuck because I went to the right. Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, I, I, I lost my bearing then because I turned. Oh, I think that worked. I think that worked. But because I took a wide turning, he got unstuck. Oh, that blows. Or did he? No, it worked. Let's go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Okay, we're free. We're free. Nice. Pass. We're past the Steve. So, I, did it work then? I, I don't see where he went. I'm just going to kill this uh, fish for peace of mind. There we go. <laughs> Just for peace of mind. Oh, we're finally free. Yes. It looked like it worked. Yes, I loved playing uh, League of Legends. We've got two shots. Perfect. It's going to be for this guy. Okay, we got him. And now we have a another shooter. Okay, that that is lucky. That's really really lucky. And what we're we gonna use for the next guy? Because we don't have the shotgun. I think the autos. Let's use the autos. We'll hide behind this corner. Okay, cool. And we have one guy left. Okay, and we have to make this jump. We have to make this jump. Oh, I'm kind of nervous for it. Oh, we got it. Okay. Seven quarters done. Oof. Shall we, uh, I think we'll have a little break before we do the deck. I think that'd be a good idea. Uh, I'll go make a cup of tea. Let's pause the timer. There we go. That's a gamble away, guys. <laughs> Alright, I won't be long.
Don't you think you've seen enough? No. I'm back. Happy retirement. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay, right, let's begin the deck. Right off the bat, we're gonna kill the two enemies around this corner. I'll just use my pistols. Should be okay. There we go, we're fine. So we're gonna do a skip to get to the next floor. What I do is, I make sure I'm directly facing the slope and I'm against the edge. Then I'll walk backwards. And then I use a visual where the apex of Lara's head is like, oh, it's different. Okay, we'll, we'll switch the original graphics because it's a different camera. But I use the apex of Lara's head. It's aligned with the middle of that, the right of the pole or the support beam, whatever it is. And then I hop back and then I do a running jump. And then as soon as Lara jumps, I hold right and then you grab late. Oof, we barely got it, but we got it. But that's what I use for that jump. If that is too tricky, then you can always just do the, the ledge bug strat. That is actually easier. Because you just have to face uh, backwards to the slope. Be against the edge. Side step right. Three times. And then do a backflip uh, twist. And hold forward in action. And you'll grab the ledge. So that's uh, probably the easiest way of doing it if you don't want to do the jump. Okay, we'll grab the M16 ammo in the corner. No, we won't. We'll kill this guy. No, we won't. We don't have to kill this guy. <laughs> or do we? No, I think we do. Where is he? No, because we have to come back down this way. Yeah, I forgot about that. There we go. <laughs> I was just thinking like, uh, how do I, uh, how do I get back down the deck again? Oh yeah, I need to come back this mm -hmm. way again. <laughs> so yeah, definitely need to take him out. We can switch back to the pistols because I'm not dealing with a gun. There's going to be another one coming soon. Okay, nice. Now we're gonna do the jump up to the top. Actually, do we need to do the jump to the top? Let me think about this. I don't think we do because we have to... No, we do, we do. Okay, so we jump up here. I kind of grab late there. Oh, what I should have done was grab the grenade launcher. Because, okay, it, 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 I suggest picking up the grenade launcher. For this guy. So do pick, pick that up after you kill the flamethrower and the wrench dude at the start. I guess I'll have to pick it up uh, af afterwards. But that's fine. No, no, I'm not using modern controls. I'm using tank.
Ledge book seems to fail a lot randomly. It's all based off uh, how far away you are from the ledge and your angle too. So if it's failing, your angle is probably wrong. You need to be facing directly forwards. So I suggest just sliding down the slope if you're attempting it. Wow, this is bad. I hate it when you get pincered like that. Okay, this time around we're going to pick up the grenade launcher. That's what we're going to do. So we'll grab the grenade launcher and then we'll head up. Because that's why it's so useful, just to deal, deal with that guy right there. I can also show you how to do the lead bug if you don't want to... No? Same throw. I'll show you how to do the ledge bug if you want to do that strat instead. There we go. This will make things a lot easier. How much ammo do we have? Just out of curiosity, we've got four. Okay, not that much. But I'll showcase this and then I'll do the, the glitched strat. So what you do is you want to slide down the right from the right side of the slope, hop back and then I step right, side step right three times. One, two, three. Then backflip, twist, hold action and up, and she'll just climb that ledge. Really easy. Now I think it's easier than the uh, than this jump right here. So use the visual for this. Same same thing. And grab that. Okay, we got it. Nice. You're looking forward to see how he does the drop uh, without damage uh, on the deck. It, the, on the deck is, uh, I think it's one of my favourite underwater levels. It's one of the, the memorable levels for me. I just like playing it because there's multiple ways to uh, to move around on the deck. That's why I think it's a fantastic level. Oh, why, why are you turning? Come on. There we go. Got him. Uh, the 2 meter one remastered much better than 2 and 3. Do you mean in terms of uh, how finished it is? Then yeah, they they definitely spent more time with it. Or do you mean the game itself? Yes, it has it definitely definitely received more visual upgrades. If you don't want to do that strike, you can always climb up on the back of that slope and then jump left. I, I think you need to slide down the slope a little bit and then jump. I think that's how it works. But we use the autos again for this guy because it, it just worked into it. And save on the grenade ammo. It does get a bit close though. <laughs> uh, hello? Does this guy not drop anything? Uh -huh. It does, yeah, they spent more time on it. It, it feels more complete. Whereas Tomb Raider 2, the visuals, the visual improvements are in the, uh, I don't know, the first six or seven levels. Hopefully that will be improved with the, the next patch. Hey Artifice. Your favourite underwater level is mostly not underwater. Okay, this time I'm going to use the grenade launcher. And shoot this guy to hell.
Okay. Use the auto sprint. I was deciding whether to go back inside. Uh -huh. I think this was the correct play. Uh -huh. The correct move. Okay, so... We're gonna go into the lake now. How many resets? I don't know. I've not been keeping track. Just going down slowly. The way to do it. Okay, so instead of going left and dropping down, we're going to go right. But before we do that, we're going to spawn someone, I think. So we need to kill him. Unless he spawns when you pick up the key, I don't know. Nope. Okay, so he spawned on this tile here. Hey, Selena, How are you doing today? Okay. So to get the key, we're going to have to use a glitch to get inside, to climb up, somewhere around here. Might take me a few tries. Back out. There we go. Okay, we're on. You need to be on the far left uh, uh -huh. side. To pull yourself up. But that's how we grab the key. You have to use a glitch for it. And I'm going to surface on this side because then we don't spawn an enemy. But we're not out of the woods yet, because I think there are gun guys that spawn on the deck itself. Does this guy have any shotgun shells? Yes, he does. Uh -huh. You're wondering how I do the, uh, the deck strat with the boss damage. Unfortunately, there's not a way to drop down uh, glitchless, even with the modern controls reduce damage when you fall. So we, we have to use a glitch there. Unless we killed the enemies that we need to kill. Okay, I, th I, th I think we're... There's going to be one that's going to come when we push the button. But we'll be prepared for him. Oh, is he coming now? Hang on. The shooter, okay. So there's a shooter. No, I could have sworn there's another enemy. A wrench guy. When you push the button. Yeah, yeah. I thought so. I was going to say. Oh, don't forget this ammo. Don't forget this ammo. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm aware of the strat iron. Uh, that's what I did. Yeah, 
Yeah, I remember uh, Barney. As soon as I pressed that button, Barney chomped me. Instantly. That's the beauty of the rando. Getting fucked by it. Okay, so we're going to roll off this, uh, grab the key. Uh -huh. This will spawn two flamethrowers at the end, but that's fine. We'll deal with them. I'm going to go down, back down on the left side. So I know I've cleared the enemies on that side, so it makes sense. Actually, right, what we'll do is... We're going to grab the grenade ammo before we do that. We're going to pop ourselves up. I forgot about these. I think they are other side. You cannot see them with the remastered graphics. Uh -huh. They're so hard to spot. Okay, uh, we'll drop down again, get to the edge, there we go. Uh, and to get down we're going to jump onto the, onto this bit. There we go. Uh, I think I'll use the M16 for these two flamethrowers. Just play it safe. Where's the other one? There he is. Nice. The infamous button death. Hey, MMAA. How you doing? The deck done. Uh, no, I'm not aware Iron Fist of the upcoming levels. I'm kind of just doing it uh, level by level and just figuring it out. So. You're on mobile. Oh, I'll have some of my tea and then we'll start to bet. Mm-hmm. I'm doing good, thank you. Big sippers. Okay, Tibet. I think we'll side flip immediately at the start to the right. Just to avoid the enemy trigger. Oh yeah, never mind. You can't do that in the remasters. Abandon that thought. Never mind, never mind. We're going to jump over these boulders. I'll just slide down the slope. Oh, I took a clip there. God oh, damn it. Do that again. Shit, there's another strat you can do where you shimmy along this. To trigger the boulder. I think this is a safer strat. But yeah, we'll go down like this faster. We could go into the cave. That might be a better idea. Going into the cave.
Okay, so we've got two crows we that we need to deal with. Or birds, eagles, whatever they are. Eagles. Okay, another one. What we can do, we can either go left or we can drop down and go through the cavern. I think we want to go left. Probably faster. But there's a skip you can do here. You grab the ledge in front of me. Yeah, we got it. Nice. We're going to go uh, around here. And get to the hut. We'll grab the secret. I think. I think we can get all the secrets in this level. Might be useful. Uh -huh. And by the way, we're not gonna pick up these. <laughs> we're not gonna ride that skidoo. No way. No way. We're gonna use that skidoo for later. Because one... You hit the wall and then that's it. You're done for. Let's trigger this guy and then... Head back. Okay, he's coming. Run. We just need a bit of distance. There we go. He's down. Uh -huh. Tibet on foot. Let's go. Hype. So we're going to get in from this side. There's two leopards. Let's use the autos for them. Yep, that's enough. For this jump, uh, it can be quite tricky. So I'm going to set it up by rolling uh, over the edge. Then pull myself up and then do a running jump and grab. This makes it much more consistent. We probably need to switch back to the M16 to deal with the two guys after we pull the lever. But I think it's only one that spawns when you pull the lever. The other one spawns when you enter this area, I think. I'm certain. Where is he? Actually, maybe it's when you pick up the grenades. Let's try that. Uh -huh. Yo, Olympus Mons, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing today? Oh no, maybe they both spawn when you pull the lever. Okay, got that wrong. Raiding party! I'm doing good, thank you. Yeah, now we definitely have two enemies we've got to deal with. So. Number one. And number two is down here. See them because Lara's head is in the way. What's this? Uh -huh. Autos. Sky drop it. Is this a many pack? Yeah, don't need that. So I think there's a, a tile that we can skip. I just cannot remember where it is, so I'm gonna feel it out and just shimmy along. It's one of these two tiles.
Uh, I'll climb up now and see if that does anything. Oh, never mind. Okay, so it's this tile. So how many is that? One, two, three down. Three down from the slope. We'll remember that. We'll remember that. There's going to be another enemy that spawns. Right, we're going to head back. Just play it safe. Oh, okay. We're going to go further back. <laughs> we're still too close. Uh, this guy. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to keep jumping. Oh, I'm pushing my luck here. I'm so pushing my luck. Gary. Right. Well, we'll, if we do die, we're going to go really far back. Ooh. The uh, thing is, if we pick up that secret, we need to kill the leopards. Um, is that even worth it? Yeah, why not? It's just leopards. Uh -huh. We'll deal with them on the way back, you know. We're going to trigger the other leopards by drop hanging. And we'll just shoot them with the pistols just to conserve ammo. Hopefully they'll get a bit closer. A tomato timer. There's grenade ammo in this hole. We'll take that. Uh -huh. I think the scariest part is coming up soon. Might take a few resets to get the outcome we want. That's okay then. So we can jump across this cavern by hopping back and then jumping over it. You'll get a little stumble, but you're fine. And for this, we don't even need the drawbridge key. We'll do the speedrun strat where we jump onto the corner. I always use like a, the visual for this is like a brown, not brown, a grey sort of dot like around here. For this, you can't really see it in the uh, the remaster. Jump on the left. Skidoo. Oh, God. I think I'm going to use the M16. And then do a little bit of praying. I think what I don't remember is if... I don't think you even need to pick up the key. I think it's just you go over the tile and then he spawns. So I'm going to... The idea is I'm going to try and hide here and shoot him down and just get good RNG. So we're going to flare cancel the roll just so that we're a little bit quicker. Land on the tile with the key. We got it. First try. We got it. It worked. Uh -huh. Very nice. Now what we can do is we can use this uh, skidoo to go back, at least over the cavern, because then we don't have to deal with the Uzi guy where you uh, grab the uh, the drawbridge key. 
thing is, there's still those boulders there. That's the problem. I don't know if we can avoid them, so we'll try it and see. Okay, it works. Nice. Going down very slowly. <laughs> Bumping into a wall and losing one HP. It's so easy with a skidoo to do that. That's why I'm not taking the red one. That's why I'm doing this entire level on foot. But for the most part. That is really lucky that they're on the right. Usually they're hiding on the left. That is really lucky. Good RNG. Yes. Finally. I did pick up the key, right? I didn't just like... <laughs> Imagine if I'm like, oh, I killed the Skidoo guy. But wait, I don't have the key. We'll do the exact same thing on the way back. Same roll strap. A pointless gate. Uh, what gate are you referring to? Pointless gate. You mean the drawbridge? Uh, we'll jump. The skidoo gun guy, yeah, that's coming up. No point using the M16, we'll use the pistols for these two. Save ammo. And probably jump forwards just to get them close to the edge. One down, let's get the other one down. Here we go. Onto the hut now. I have a little strat for this hut. Well, actually, there's two strategies you can use here. But they both work. I'm going to opt for these you do strat instead. It's a really satisfying one. So first of all, we're going to pick up all the items that we need in this hut uh -huh. before we pull the lever, because pulling the lever because the three, well, the ambush, basically. Uh -huh. so we're going to get the skidoo inside and hopefully not die. <laughs> Plus we'll have some epic music on our hands. Yeah. So here we go. We'll get it facing the right way. That, that'll do, that'll do. And now they come, and we just wait. We're just gonna wait. Goodbye. What 
do they drop? Uzi ammo and autos. Not bad. Okay, this next part, we need the black skidoo. We're not going to skip. I'm not going to skip him, so... It's going to be... Uh... Let's just go for it. We got it. We got it. Nice, nice. Okay. Now let's get the secret because I think this is the last secret that we need. Yep. We just need the gold now. We're going to drop down, get as low as possible, and then just jump. To avoid this boulder. There we go. And the other one isn't triggered. But the, that boulder triggers if you're on the left side, though. So. But we're going to need the black skidoo for the next part to deal with the other two. That strat is much more safer than... Climbing up on the right side and then trying to shoot them down with the M16. Hey, Hickey Crew, how are you doing today? Hello. Okay, I need to focus. I'm doing good, thank you. So we're going to go to the left and stay on this corner and just wait for them to come round. We're going to stop pre-firing and just turn in the skidoo right to shoot them off. And this is 100% consistent. You, you can't take damage doing that unless you mess up big time. We're going to go down very slowly so you can explode with this thing. Very easily. Right, and we push the block. Here we're going to do a trigger skip. Usually there's uh, two enemies on the right about to ambush you, but if you do a side flip left, you avoid that trigger. Okay, I don't know if there's a guy that spawns on the right. I think it avoids that trigger too, which is nice. Okay, now for the swan dive. So we want to walk to the edge and just sidestep right once. And then we do a swan dive. And we should make it. I did a little tap to the right there just to make sure, but it works. There you go. S smoother to bet. We did it. We got all the secrets too. <sighs> Arkang next though. That's, uh, <laughs> that's going to be a... Yeah, tough level that is. Okay. Ready for barking? Okay, I think I'm just going to go around the corner and just let the monks do their thing. Let the monks fight. I need to kill this eagle. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it's a crow. Same thing. Yeah, no glitches unless it's absolutely necessary.
gonna get into the corner and then just hop back and uh, brush the corner and do a jump. I'm probably gonna use the autos to start with. I might grab the Uzis early on. Okay, so that's a monk. But you are a monk. Yeah, I want to get the item, I think. But this is an Uzi guy, which means the monks cannot lose. They cannot lose this fight, because the, Uzi, the Uzis deal no damage to them. There we go. And the window guy as well. Go monks, go! 2v1, fair fight. Watch them lose. Come on, get those spears moving. They need to up their chopping game. Yes, okay. Now we got the Uzis. They should help uh -huh. quite a bit. Autos and we'll grab the grenades. We need grenades for the dragon. Uh -huh. Although we can do the dragon with the pistols, like it's not a big deal or any other weapon. We can do them with the Uzis. Okay, let's get the main hall key. Is there force damage to get one of the key items, what, like here? Yeah, Barking Monster is one of my favorite, well, it's my favorite level in uh, Tomb Raider 2. It's so good. I'm gonna grab this key. And then I'm going to head back down. So uh -huh. we basically, we, we want to do the hardest rooms first. We do the hardest rooms first. That's going to be our strategy. The beating barking. But before we do that, there's going to be yet another ambush. No, we're going to wait. We're just going to let the monks fight. Now I'm just going to wait. Oh god, thanks for the push. Gee, while they're fighting, I can go grab this secret. And hopefully when I return, the, the, the thugs better be dead. They better be dead. Oh, look. He doesn't stand a chance. Easy. I forget how many uh, enemies spawn here. So they're monks. But right, this, we're going to do this room first. Oh, I took damage. This is why we do this first. But I think also we're not going to grab the secret straight away. We're just going to head into this room and let them fight. So, yeah. Okay. That's definitely the room we're going to do first. The ball sack. Got us again. But then getting the... Maybe we shouldn't collect all the secrets because we have to go through the clang clang door. That might not be a good idea. Um, It might be too risky. I'm just having a look at my ammo situation. Does anyone know what secret reward you get? 
or in in barking. I might just avoid getting the secrets. Yeah, I can't remember either. The only one I remember is 40 fathoms because it gives you the goddamn harpoon. Nobody wants. Four sets of M16 clips. Okay, that is really good. I think we'll go for the secrets then. If we get M16 clips, that's worth it. Well done, guys. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. Wow! <laughs> Jesus! Alright, trigger happy. Thank you for the follow, it's a long shot, thank you. Uh -huh. Maybe I rolled too late. <laughs> Are you actually right about that? Yeah. I am the one triggering them. But they're trigger happy with their guns. Okay. We just gotta remember to get the secret on the way out. GG. What if I roll here? Okay, I, I rolled too far. That's my bad. That's why I died. Hey, the price is rice. Welcome. first time the monks were in the room, so we targeted them first. When I died, I rolled uh, two tiles in, so I was around here, so he had just more time uh, to get a lock on on me, so it, that was my fault. But, but now I know where the trigger is. Uh, in catacombs, you get two sets of grenades and two times M16, and in Ice Pass, you get four pairs of grenades. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, cat secrets. It, it all depends if they're on the way, but uh, okay, those two levels do give good rewards. I'll remember that. Ice Pass and catacombs. Let's do the same thing. Go to the ball sacks. Got 
what I'm trying to do in this area is go when the ball sack is coming towards me. I was a little bit too late last time. Now, I've right, got it. Now we've got to do the same thing again. Uh oh. Okay. Good. So we're gonna go into this room because we want to get the secrets. Get four M16 ammo, four M16 clips, which is huge. Really good. Definitely useful for later on. Let's wait for the uh, spindle to come. Nice. Grab the key. Uh -huh. And we'll get the second secret. Or grenade ammo, okay. I think that was uh, Stella mentioned that. Looks like the monks killed the gun guys because of the the slow pace, uh, slow pacing of the walk. They did it. Oh, thank you for the ammo. Uh -huh. Two monks died though. He was bad man. And what, he just disappeared? Uh -huh. We got pieced out. Okay, the next hard part is this section. I don't know if you take damage if you drop down there. I'm really not sure. Maybe I'll use modern controls for this. You do. Okay, I'm going to use modern controls then to drop down and see if that works. I'll hang, switch to them, and then drop. Let's go. Because you take less damage if you switch to modern controls. The drop. Okay. Now we switch back. <laughs> we need to get the hell out of this window fast. I'm going to stick to the right. Okay, we're good. Thank you for telling me that you, that you do get damage. Gion has eight times Uzi clips. I'm not going to do, uh, I'm not going to get the secrets in Xion because it means doing the entire level. So. Oh, okay, iron. You think you do? Well, it's, it's better to be safe than sorry. Might just about be like a little bit of damage, then that's it. Okay, nice. Get the prayer wheel. Uh -huh. Okay. Come on, monks. Come on, monks. Are you ready? Yeah, let's get hyped up. Come on, monks. Let's go. Get hyped up. Let's go. Take them out. 
I'm going to do use the M16. Come on, guys. Okay, one of the monks is... Two monks are still alive. Oh, this is not good. Dude, what, what's he doing? It, hello? I'm over here. I'm, I'll wait. I'll, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go to you. I'll wait. There he is. Nice. Oh, what the, what the hell is that guy? Where, where did that guy come from? Four? Can't get a lock. So silly. Yeah, that made me jump. I thought it was three. What is this camera? Where is he going? Okay. Hopefully that's the last one. Yeah, I thought it was just three. I was not uh -huh. expecting another. He was just showing up to uh -huh. the party, you know? Uh-huh. Okay. Let's go to the blade section. Actually, we can grab the secret now. Might as well. Because then we'll get the ammo. Uh -huh. Wait, that, is that M16? It looks like autos. I guess it is. Okay, so there's the outside part, and then there's well, there's two outside parts. Um, I'd say the riskier one is probably where the burners are. We'll use the grenade launcher for that, I think. We'll do the other one last. I we'll take our time for this. Auto ammo stands up and M16 ammo lies down. I didn't think of it that way. Monk just casually walking through some blades. How does he do it? A ghost monk. Must be. Uh -huh. Oh, because we're not doing the window jump, so we're going to have to grab the... the two gems and do the Buddha statue. Yeah, okay. That you, boss. So maybe we should have done that. We could do that next. But we're going to have the grenade launcher out. Part coming up. Okay. 
Okay. Go on, monks. Do your thing. You can do it, guys. I believe. Yes, they're killing the right guy. No, not the Uzi dude. Kill the other one. Go on. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh! Didn't break a sweat. Easy. Easy. We'll collect these two gems because we need to use one of them for the Buddha statue. Uh -huh. Take damage from the blast and turn against me. That would be bloody typical, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll get the M16 ammo at the top of this. Any more ammo? Did you drop anything, sir? Did. Uh -huh. A medipack. I can't really stick a medipack in a gun, can I? The other guy dropped something too. Okay, I'll go back. Oh, I like what they did at the start. Oh, no. Almost forgot. <laughs> there we go. An Uzi guy that drops Uzis. You wouldn't believe it. Yo, Fox. Thank you so much for the raid. How you doing? Welcome everyone. How's your stream? Don't you dare push me out of the way. Yo, Subsonics. How's it going? Thank you, thank you. What, what, what were you playing, Fox? What were you playing? You love the fantasy star, and you did City of Common New Game Plus. GG. I am, thank you. Right. We've got to get the other prayer wheel now. That means we've got to go on top of the Buddha statue. One good thing, though, with the remasters is they fix the walk run jump. Oh. No more awkward situations with that anymore. If you know what I mean. I'm just going to take my time with this. There we go, that'll do. Do a walk run jump here. Just take it slow. Now <laughs> I'm not going to catch on fire. Ah, they fixed it. I haven't had walk, run, break a single time with the remasters. Oh, it's good. Jump. Hey, we need to find a safe way to go down. Here, perhaps. 
Now, I don't know for the drop if you take damage for it. I don't think you do. Don't think you do. Nah. I, I can just tell from the distance. But I think you take damage for the next part where that slope is. I'm certain. And we also need to pull the lever. That'd be a good idea. Then maybe we'll have to switch to modern controls for that. Because with modern controls, you take less damage when you're falling. For some reason. Hey there, Glenny. How you doing? Best level. Yes. Amen. Yeah, you definitely take damage here. So I'm just going to... Through. No, I'm only going to use glitches if absolutely necessary. So we'll do the modern controls. The drop down. And if we die, we die. So we're going to switch to modern. And then drop. See what happens. We're fine. I I'm certain you do take damage there. I'm certain. Oh, this is the fourth prayer wheel. One more to go. One more to go. Uh -huh. Feels like the same height from the window. It does. I know I take damage there because it's happened. I've just noticed it when playing the randomizer. The other window, I'm, I wasn't too sure. Like quite a drop. Yeah. Let's be safe, anyhow. Okay, the last area. Ooh. One more wheel to go. I think the statue is much more shinier. My favourite classic Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 1, and then Tomb Raider 2 uh, after that. Very slightly behind, but Tomb Raider 1 is my favourite. It is the first game I uh, played. No, I've not done, oh, I've not done the fire room. Yeah. I still need to do that. We can do that last. Maybe we should have done that first. Oh, you're right, so I've only collected three of the prayer wheels. Got a bird to that's a bird. <laughs> hey, he's down. See ya. Fire room sounds scary. I think we'll be fine. Uh -huh. We'll be fine. Come on, birds. I'll wait for the bears to come over here. Nice. Then after this, there'll be one gun guy. That's this area done. Oh, I wanted to jump forwards there. Uh, I think this is fine. I don't take damage, right? Nope. Uh -huh. Right, go monk. Please win.
Come on, this is a matter of urgency. Whack him. Oh my god, okay. Uh, grenade launcher. I see his feet just dangling out. I think what we'll do is we'll go down the ladder because I can't remember if you take damage. I think the, actually I think the far right side is safe, but we'll do this just to just to play it safe. You know. Hello. Hey Steph. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, thank you. Right, we're gonna use the M16 here. Blast him from afar. One down. Oops. Need to get a lock. You're gonna come back. We'll be patient if we need to. Try to lure him this way. Coming back. No, he isn't. Is he? Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's about to rush me at the end there. Aha. Aha. Okay, so one section left to do, and that's the fire room. Normally I do that first, but I forgot about it. <laughs> That's okay though. This is intense. I mean, it's fine. If I die, then I'll just restart the level. It does get intense towards the later parts, though. Especially for this level, because it's long. It's a long level. Um, you love the light rays. Yeah, they've done a good job with that. Roll and trigger this boulder. Let's go for a swim. Okay, so for this, I have a sequence. So I jump four times, and then I do a stain jump, and then the rest are running jumps. One, two, three, four, stain jump. Curve a little bit. And we're good. Right, so the last scary part. <laughs> Let's just hope the monk gets aggro. Actually, I'm thinking I might use the Uzis, just in case.
Uzis will be better, I think. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the monk to go to the other side. No! Oh, bastard! I should have shot him or triggered him and then gone back. Oh, uh, sucks. Okay, I need to do this room first, I think. Do this room first. Or do the ball sack first, then that other room, and then this next, just to get them out of the way. Feel? Okay, I'm just going to quickly BRB.
Don't you think you've seen enough? Happy retirement. No. I have a rope here. Uh huh. Food, please. Pipes run. Oxygen. <sighs> oh, eh. Watch out! It's a monster!
the lever now, Miss Croft. Good men. Hey, I'm back. <sighs> Alright, Stella, thank you so much for hanging out and uh, have a good night. Thank you for the good Welcome luck. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, let's try that again. We, we've got a strap for Barkang now. Start the game already! Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do the uh, what room is it? We're going to do the ball sack room first, and then we'll do the ladder ambush room, and then after that, we'll do the fire room. Those three first. And if we make it through those three rooms, we should be able to finish the level. I think what I'll do though is I'll use the M16 and then try and trigger the guy and just backflip to safety. That should work. Hey, arm I'm done. Monk's already in the window. Probably went through the glass. He's down. Yes, I did uh, disable Jim. Just for this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Listen to all those twitches hanging from with the commands. Uh, with the commands, oh, yeah, they love it. Guess they were blasting it when I was away. We tried. <laughs> For the sound commands. There was a time when I didn't have any sound commands. Uh -huh. There was a time. Ah. 
Actually, that's the only added thing I've got on my stream. Just sound commands and... Uh, why the f how are we going this way? Sound commands and uh, gambling. That, that's it. I, I don't even have a fancy overlay or all that shit. Too lazy for that. Imagine a time before Gamma, I don't know. It may shock you, but uh, before that time, people had discussions and stuff. They weren't just gambling all the time. But now, it's a gamble. Feels bad. <laughs> These were dark times. I know, I don't even have a fancy border. I'm just bare bones, you know. 2000 streamer. Right, let's focus for this. So I'll wait for the ball sack to come towards me and then I, uh, and I go. That made me jump, that did. <laughs> I didn't expect the fire to just suddenly start like that. That's why you do that room first. It sucks. Hey, Jenny. Thanks for good luck. How are you doing today? Yeah, that made me like jump. I didn't expect the fire to just suddenly, I don't know, be fire. Come on, come down. What? Oh no, don't tell me you. It's over there? Oh my god, what is this crow doing over there? When you watch the VOD, you just thought everyone was participating in some underground gamba club when people spoke of points. Secretive club. You thought they were gambling real money. Bro just wants to, a little bit of a fight. He wants to help the monks. And now you're a founding member. A founding member. <laughs> what would be the better option is if I just go and pick up the key now because this guy's gonna be dead regardless. I feel like I'm wasting time here. You know what I mean? Then again, I do grab the... If I die next time, I'm going to skip this part and come back to it later. It should be relatively safe. Monks died. Feels bad. Uh -huh. Beer's good. I haven't had a beer for a while. You know, the last time I had a beer was when I did DJ Day. When, um, uh, uh, phase 2 was released. The Season of Discovery. World of Warcraft. That's when I had a, a beer. I had the day off on Friday. And uh, yeah, we were playing WoW from 9am till uh, like 12, 1pm, uh, t like midnight. And we cracked open a beer at like 8 o'clock uh -huh. in the morning. It feels strange, but uh, oddly good. If you have two, then that's when it like starts to hit you and you're older. Not good.
what I've heard though is they are releasing Phase 3 in three weeks from now. I'm like, wow, that's fast. But then again, I was kind of like blown by because of the Tomb Raider remastered. It will feel strange that it's been, what, like uh, six weeks now, hasn't it, since they were, were released. I, I still remember when it was uh, six months ago with the, the trailer. Yeah, but that level was just bad. Didn't want to continue it. Hey! Get the secret? I'm just gonna wait because that spindle can block my view. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's go for the secret. And yeah, that's a monk. No gun. Or is it this? I think this will be probably the last level for today. So I'm starting to feel tired. Uh -huh. We found out how to flip out of the crawl space in Tomb Raider 3. Did you know about the sprint roll as well? What's cool is there was an original move in Tomb Raider 5 and then they added it to, uh, yeah, uh -huh. Tomb Raider 3. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm glad they added those moves. Really good. They're, like, they're fun. Okay, we'll use the modern controls again to reduce fall damage. No! They were so fast! Wow. They were so fast. Hmm. La 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 uh, I, I don't think so. I I, I mean I did I rolled too early but they already killed me. I think you're right. Uh, no, I don't, uh, arm, I'm dumb. How about yourself? Ooh. See what I mean about those two rooms? Yeah, we're just gonna go this time? We're just gonna go. No, because we need the Uzis. No, no, we're fine. We'll pick up the key and then come back down. That'd be the fastest way. La la.
Aha. Hey there, Daz. Thank you for the good luck. How are you doing today? Okay, now we grab the Uzis. Which, where the hell are they? Hello? Where did they kill the guy? Oh, don't tell me I got... They're not under the table, are they? There's a chance where they're under the table. Oh. Oh, there they are. Okay. We have to trigger window guy. Oh my, no, don't tell me. <laughs> no. Needs a longer spear, this monk. Come on. There we go. Imagine if I died there. Tragic. Uh -huh. I think he missed the shot. Here lies Brother Chen. They tried. Uh Uh, keyhole. They might lose this fight now because I'm down two monks. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. No! Oh! No! Oh! Jeez, what was the cycle on that full stack? I was like, oh, I need to go. I should have just waited. God damn it. Oh well. The monks will be alive this time, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm actually really tired now. <laughs> if I'm not talking too much, it's that's good. Go try and focus. Get this level done. Uh 
Hey, where are the Uzis? Good spot. Uh -huh. It's not Steve, yes. The days of Steve are behind us. I need to get past the first two rooms. I probably need to figure out a strategy for this because the ball sack is in different, like, a different swing cycle. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to wait. See, that's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. Much easier. The window guy? Nah, not yet. Uh, I'm, I'm. It makes more sense to get this out of the way before I do that. Then I get more of this. You want to get here soon, as soon as possible. Yeah, just get to the, this section uh, quickly and uh, then you'll get more chances at it. Blah, blah, blah. The OK emote is gone. What's the OK emote? Did I know what the OK emote is? Oh, let's grab these. One of them is grenades. The Uzis are at the uh -huh. on the uh, the monk's crotch. Just like skater boy. Uh huh. Da 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 da. Okay, we just need a bit more luck here. We can switch the modern controls. We take less damage when we drop down. And not die. I'm gonna hug this wall. There's nothing silly going on. Nice. Right. It was a small okay. Uh, how does that work? What the uh, taking less damage with the modern controls, or, or just how it's done? I grab the ledge and then I switch to modern and then I drop by pressing roll. And that's it. I think Lar mentioned it's something to do with not being able to swing cancel. I, I don't know the technicalities of it. Just that you take less damage with the uh, falling uh, while grabbing a ledge with modern controls. Uh-huh. 
Okay. Come on, guys. Do your thing. So there's four enemies I've got to deal with. Go, monks. Uh, so wind counter, she slightly rises. Uh, rises slightly when wait to hold it. Get help. Hey. Interesting. I think that's one of the monks dead. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, that's two. I don't know if that's all of them. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. This is is that the last guy? I think so. It looks like it's the foot, so it's for I think I see a foot. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Don't need that many pack. Uh-huh. Right, now we go do the fire room. Yeah, I'm streaming on YouTube. And also we'll grab the secret because while well, we're here. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, what does premium give you? Uh, no ads. Everyone on YouTube, smash the like button, and then dislike, and then smash the like button again. Make sure to subscribe, then unsubscribe. Then ring the bell, and then don't ring the bell. Does YouTube Premium stop pausing too? On like videos and that. I know if you play a video for a long, for, for quite a bit, sometimes pause. Or at least like the on desktop. Yeah. I've had that with like just the, my music playlist. It can pause over a long period, but there's probably like an extension to prevent that. Aim again, we jump on four. One, two, three, four, stang jump. Curve a bit. There we go. All right, we're gonna use the M16 this time and we're gonna trigger the guy and then just hop back, I guess. 
or jump back. The thing is, I don't know where the trigger is. No! Holy fucking shit, dude. It just killed the monk. How did the monk just die? That's so stupid. The monk's just... The monk's dead? Already? You guys see that? Okay, we're gonna do this room first. We're doing this room first so that we get a strat down. That is so dumb. The monk went in and then died! One bullet dead! That was so fast! Just died insanely fast. That is, yeah, that is the worst hunt you've ever seen. I can't believe that happened. The monk barely survived. That's like the world's weakest monk. Yeah, I think the monk was using a uh, one health mod too, by the looks of it. Jesus. I've never seen that before, by the way. Years of, yeah, calls himself a monk. Years of training my ass. Okay, we're, we're going to go into the fire room first, just to get a strat down for that, because... I don't know. <sighs> I don't know what the hell's going on there. I was, because I was so close to, um, to the other side, trying to trigger that guy, and he just wouldn't, like, trigger. So, where the hell is the trigger? Excuses. What is excuses? <laughs> but you are a monk. Back in college, you created a computer program called RTG, Random Thought Generator. Did it, what, did it gen gen generate random thoughts? How did it generate the random thoughts? Would it come from like a list of random thoughts? Or was that like the first iteration of AI? Oh, you loaded it with quotes. I see, I see. How many quotes? What kind of quotes? One, two, three, four. Fifty quotes. Were they like inspirational quotes? Like Einstein quotes or just quotes that you uh, thought of? No, no, this part fucking blows.
Oh my god. But this this monk is staying alive a little bit longer. A bit. Okay, there's another guy here. Oh, okay. I need to be quicker with the hop back. We'll keep doing it until we get that strap down. And then we should be good. We should be good. You looked it up. One tile left of the hole triggers the mercenary, and one ahead triggers the monk. So immediately when you climb out, one guy when you enter. The okay, so I should just jump on the left side then. Nah, I I remember that strat for no damage, and you hop back. That's what you do. No, you can't trigger skip them. Well, you can trigger skip the first guy. I think. If you do the glitched route. Oh, look, so, uh, one tile left of the hole triggers the mercenary. Okay, so I'm just not going left enough. Right. We'll try that then. Maybe I can get a lock on with the M16. I'll give that a go. Entire, yeah. It's the row in front of the, the hole, whereas on the left it's the... Yeah. I, uh, I understand. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I'll... Okay. Uh -huh. We'll figure out what to do when we get there. Probably need to gun him down with the M16 though. That's what I'm feeling. Da, da, da. Hey, Marcus Croft, how you doing today? And hey, down the hit, man. You just done two mate one new game plus in nine hours and with twenty three saves. GG. You're having the old rum and coke. Eight, You're welcome, Dan. You're having wine. It red or white wine. Okay, so trigger the monk first. And then we trigger the other guy. Dude, this fucking monk, man. Mmm, <laughs> it's so sketchy. Yeah, that's what we do. 
Oof. Still though, like, ugh. We got the other uh -huh. part to do. We got the uh, the bull sack section to do without taking damage. Mm, I, I'm thinking about doing. No, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the bull sack first, and then this room for. Oh, we... I'm really not sure. This room seems the sketchiest. I, I don't know, I don't. <laughs> hey there, Triple. How you doing? I hate Shredden. Very close to the fire. It, it's, um... I, I have a visual for that, and it's quite consistent. Just looks sketchy, though. Rename the Bullsack Room. What would be a more fitting name? Uh -huh. <laughs> a testicle room. That's the one. We got it. Okay. Hey, cue the stupidity. I'm doing good. A little tired, but I'm doing good. How are you doing? Oh, I think the name suits it. Can't think of a better name. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, no. Uh, we need to grab the Uzis, actually. So we'll go do that. Uh -huh. Run can die, so yeah. Mindful of that. <laughs> Alright, Dan. Thank you so much for hanging out. Take it easy. And good luck with the trophies. Wait for the spindle to go by. Uh -huh. Da 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 Wasn't so sure on those footsteps, but it seemed a bit faster pace. <laughs> the 
They're very noisy. Mm. I'll call you Q. That's like uh, Q from uh, Star Trek. Hey, the third dumb room. Hey, Sophie, how you doing? No! Oh, there's nothing I could have done there. That's a fuck this room, man. It's so bad. Oh, it's one RNG after the other, isn't it? We just got these three rooms to get, just to get through. Okay, we're gonna go back to the uh, the old strats. Full sack first, then that room, and then uh, the fire room. But that's the order we're gonna do it in. That's the order. Just need to get past those three uh, rooms. It actually starts as a play on uh, words or cue. Or Q. Ah, okay. Hello, Flame Tree. How's it going? And hey, Richard Campbell. How are you doing today? Da, da. We had one really good run in Barkang Monastery and then the rest have been... Oh yeah. Been tough. How come I have no health there? Because I'm attempting a uh, no damage challenge. I've, uh, this game is modded so that, so that I have one HP. Easier to spot when I take damage. Mm, I should have probably picked up the Uzis first. That's fine. We'll come back for them. Thanks for good luck. <sighs> right, next dumb room incoming. <laughs>
Aha. That's the other guy. Oh, he's at the end. He always disappears, that one. Aha. Uh... This guy's a nutter. Here's some bits to keep you going. You're doing an awesome job, though. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Bad. Thank you so much uh, for the kind words and the 100 bits. Thank you. Thank you. I'm switching to modern because I take less damage while falling. I think I know where I'm supposed to be jumping now, by the way, from that step. I think I'm jumping a little bit too early. Because the trigger is further up, so I can jump later. Hey, Nat Milk. Love how they've got loads of prayer wheels in there, but Lara has to find the, the few specific wheels. You think they'd have some backup prayer wheels in a monastery, or maybe like a 3D printer? Hey. Right, monks, do your thing. Don't lose. A 1k badge. The beast. Go on. One down? Ah, uh, monk down as well? Come on. Uh oh. Two alive. One more left. Oh god, he was close. Okay, I think they're all dead now. Uh -huh. I don't need that. We have some ammo. Lock and shell. Uh -huh. Hey Zen. How you doing? Is it a new bits badge teen education? I... Uh, I... Not sure. This guy's a nutter. Thank you, Raiden. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. Oh shit! Thanks for the three months in advance. Thank you. Thank you. Nutter. Nutter. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Nutter Club. Uh 
Aha. A proper geezer. Proper yeah. geezer. Yes. We need the Uzis. Where are they? I did trigger him. Come on, monk, please. I did trigger him. I'm sure I triggered that guy. Why aren't the monks moving? Unless, did I already do that room? I don't think I did. Fuck. I remember. Okay, I didn't, so I gotta go. Oh, there we go. I think I got him now. Yeah, they're aggroing. Go, guys, just go. Take him out. This is a fair fight. Oh, cashews are great. Let's go get the grenades, and then... Ooh. Go to the fire room. Uh -huh. And don't forget these. Uh -huh. I think we'll use the grenade launcher. Please just uh, kill this guy. Oh, I hate this room. This room sucks. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh no, I didn't trigger the monk. Whoa, oh God, fuck it out. I just forgot about the monk. Okay, well, that is one way to do it. Oh my god. No! Fucking hell, man! Oh, I just didn't want to, like, shoot the monk. I waited with a shot. Oh, 
God, this is bullshit. Ah, oh, God, this room's so, it's so bad. But like, I, I don't know why I went to the left. I should have just jumped forward to trigger the monk. Where? I think this will be my last one and then I'll probably call it because I'm I'm losing focus. I've been streaming for quite a while, so we'll have to continue this another time. I think that might be for the best. I've been feeling tired for quite a while, like since <laughs> it's like 40 minutes ago, so yeah, it's, it's hard to keep your focus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, you still need to kill the both, both of them. But yeah, I, I am feeling like really tired, so that's... Uh -huh. Definitely having an effect. All right, Yulia. Thanks the good night. Uh, thanks the good luck. Good night. I'm going to bed here as well. I'm getting that more often now. Pretty good. Da 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 Longer than 40 fathoms so far. I don't know. I mean, it's a long level. A long level. It feels longer than 40 fathoms. Uh -huh. Just feel like it. It feels like this is... Maybe it's because I'm tired. But this feels uh, <laughs> longer. Yeah, they do disappear. I'm going to jump from the third step. Oh my god, I was getting shot at there. So this is definitely the right decision to go here. Hmm. 
<laughs> I might start ch changing it up though. Maybe, maybe I'll do the fire room first. Do the fire room first, and then do the uh, um this, and then the ball sacks after. Just because I'm starting to feel confident with the ball sacks. Like knowing when to go and when to stop, things like that. So if this one dies, I'm going to change up the order. Do it that way. Yo, eyes! How you doing today? What's my PB? This is my current uh, PB. I'm in, uh, mm. yeah, barking. Like, I'm starting to get there with it. I just needed more practice to have a feel for it. Hey, monks. One down. Go on. Go on. Go monks! Uh, is that... I'm just gonna wait a bit. Yeah, I have one health, a shadow. It seems pretty good. Wait, is that a monk? Yeah! Brother Chen! And the winner is Brother Chen! Uh -huh. About time. It's about time. Uh, why don't I use a dupe glitch? Because I'm doing... I'm only going to use a glitch if it's absolutely necessary to avoid force damage. Uh, you can see the rules in the description, Shadow. I, uh, uh... If I die, I restart the level. Okay, I'm gonna go and get the... Yo, Gizzy! How you doing? We've got backup coming soon. This guy's in trouble. I think he's dead. I'm not doing it New Game Plus yet. Oh no, I'm not going to do this with New Game Plus. Right, on to the fire room. Uh 
Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do dumb challenges like that. This this is enough for me. Wait, is that the duck from the video? <laughs> I don't remember the song. I know there's a song. <laughs> the lemonade duck, yeah. Unless I just shoot him with the, uh... Oh, we check it the moment. Got any glue? Yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to go in. I just missed with a shot. I guess I fired too early. Okay, so we're gonna do this room first, I think. We're gonna do that room first, because it seems like it's the most orangey heavy part. And then we'll do the other room and then the ball sacks after. I think that's the plan. I think now that we've had enough practice with the uh, a ball sack room, we should be able to do it. So we'll do it that way. That's the bird. And a squall. We'll do another one with the uh, this strat. We're changing the order. La da da What's annoying is you have to get the first grenade off on the Uzi guy because he will just stand at the entrance and you can't dodge him like his uh his range of fire it's like 180 degrees. It's fucking nuts. And he just stops at the right spot that you can't hide and get behind him. So. I really need to get that first grenade off. And we'll be good. I could do the ball sack second. I might be uh Wait. 
do it. No, I think I should do the ball sack second. Then I'll have the... Um, I'll have the sequence. I'll have the sequence. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. That second, and then we'll do the ladder ambush last. I think that's the order. That makes sense. Because we've been getting the, the ladder ambush quite often now. One, two, four. Okay, well that's a first. Oh, one more. I think I turned too much. Hey, welcome back, Axel. Modern or tank? What my like opinion of them or what am I playing as with? Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, what, what do you what do you mean? Like what I prefer or what I'm playing with currently? Oh, using right now. Okay, I'm using tank controls right now. You can never have too much of Barkane. That is, that is true. That is true. Worse than 40 fathoms. Um, I think it's dragging more than 40 fathoms. At least with that, it was quite short. And it was just one thing at the end, and that was it. Mm -hmm. This level, it's been multiple things. But th this has definitely felt longer. Uh, do I prefer... Yeah, I prefer tank controls. So I quite... Uh, I'm curious about modern 2. I might give them a go. For something else. Sometime. Maybe just a playthrough of these games. I, I don't know. <laughs> does does two hours feel long for you guys? I turned too much there, so that was my bad. You feel like Float is going to cause a lot of pain in this challenge. I don't. I think Float is going to be okay. Except for the end. Alright. Uh... That's how we do it. Okay. That's how we do it. That's how we bloody do it. Thanks to GG. Uh, the two jades dudes near a switch and a zip line. That is fine. Just use the M16. And then run away from the other two. 
Home Sweet Home. I think Home Sweet Home will be okay because it's a short level. I think that'll be fine. I'll smash the rest of the level. So we got the ball sacks to do next. And then we got the ambush room. And then hopefully keeping focus and not messing up and getting the rest of the level down. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Sophie. I've done no damage without saving for 2 meta 1. Sequence done. Thank you for the follow, Subana. Thank you. Hey, little baby parrot. How you doing? Uh -huh. Uh, honestly, did you think the fire room was going to cause you this most problem? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I remember when I did no damage, it was fine for the Uzi guy. I had a consistent strat, but it was such a long time ago that uh, I, you know, obviously not practiced it. I'm kind of going into this challenge uh, not mm -hmm. knowing too much and just trying to figure it, figure it out on mm -hmm. the way because I think it'd be more fun to do. So, yeah. No, I, I didn't this think so. This guy's a nutter. Raiden 3257 gifted one subscriptions to the community. Thank you. Thank you, Raiden, for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is the last... Well, we've got to get through this now. Go. Okay. Yes, come on. The dragon level is going to be... to uh, find out. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure until I get there. Hey, Makis. Welcome. <laughs> Celebrating early! Uh. 
How are we? Thank you, Sophie. Thank you for the 10 bits. Thank you. And thanks for the good luck. Uh -huh. <coughs> Have a sip of water. Ah, that's better. Thank you for the follow, uh, Marcus. Thank you. Die. Seek fluid intake. Go on, monks. Repeat the same thing as last time. You can do it. <clears throat> what? Why are they here? I mean, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Why are they here, though? <laughs> what? Okay, there's two more. I mean, that's good. That's good, I guess. Now it's 4v2. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm just going to wait, I think. It has always full of surprises, this game. Okay, they did it. Well done, Brother Chen. Victory! Uh -huh. Large med for good luck. Okay, so what do we do now then? Do we go to the roof? Oh, we need the Uzis. Let's grab the secret first. Uh -huh. Do do do. I'm thinking of going uh, outside to where the burners are. That's that's what I'm thinking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's also the statue we got to do. So yeah, we'll probably do that second to last. Yeah, th this is the order because then we get the gem and that's it. That blade is <laughs> scary. So, let's grab the Uzis and then we need to get the grenades and trigger the window guy. Okay, that's good. Uzis are here. Go, protect me! Protect me! Oh, uh, we have to use a glitch for that shadow to avoid the full damage. On the deck. Hey there, for us. How's it going? Okay, I think he's dead because this monk is now passive.
Aha. Aha. La da da da. La da da da. Da da da. Time to focus. Still not out of the woods yet. Hopefully we get a better outcome than we had before. Go monks, do your thing. Yes, come on, go on. He's doing way, he's doing so much damage. Oh, he died though. Looked like he was, he was uh, whacking that guy. I had to do that. I had to do that. I know it was risky, but <laughs> I had to do it. the GG. Okay, we'll grab the M M16 ammo on at the top. You ain't turning away from this now. We just got two more prayer wheels to go. Two more. Okay, Buddha statue. <laughs> I'll try not to.
Ba, ba, ba. Now we drop down here. Hey Laura, it's uh, going good. How are you doing? Okay, I need to use the uh, modern controls to drop down. Go down backwards like this. Play it safe. Drop. The reason why I'm switching to modern controls is because you take less damage when you're grabbing a ledge and then falling. And I think you take like a minuscule amount of damage if you use tank controls. You miss the boat. It's about to mine me. Well, thank you, thank you. Him. Okay, we got outside to do now. Outside. You're so tense. That's no, okay. The easy guy I'm thinking about right now. Did get the monk back there? I don't know, I've triggered a lot of monks. Hey, bird? Now the Uzi guy. I think I'm gonna just try and like jump back and then forwards. Oh god, that that guy is <laughs> so scary. Birds. I'm just going to wait patiently. Hey, Kayubi Fox. Got to do everything by the book. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Most of it is glitchless. Okay, we have three enemies to deal with now, so hopefully the monk takes this one out. 
have the grenade launcher ready just in case if he doesn't. Not out of the woods yet. Still two gun guys. There should be one more. Yes! I think that's it. Uh huh. Uh huh. But we do have all the prayer wheels, right? <laughs> Let me just do the check. Yes! Okay. Done it. <laughs> Just, yeah, don't die to gravity now. Oh, God. This has been such a long level, just trying to figure out all the strats for this, which room to do first, you know. It's been a journey, it's been a journey. Now watch out for those splinters, good thing I've got uh, shoes on. <laughs> yes! Come on, guys, we did it! Oh, oh, God. oh, God, what a rough level. Thank you so much for the GGs, everyone. Thank you. Oh. We finally managed to get through it. Took some time, but we did it. We did Welcome it. Aboard, Captain. We never gave up.